Bat Shalom, everybody. <laughs> Our Father in Heaven is so good to us, and He loves us so much. And His goodness and love, He proclaimed it through Yeshua. He gave us, or He gave or performed the salvation for us. All our sicknesses, all our sins, all our curses, God put them on Yeshua. <coughs> and our Father in heaven, He is the one who did that. Thank Him for that. The topic of the message today is the word of faith. People say words. And these words, these words have power. For example, someone said, let's put an air conditioner here in this, in this place. And it happened, and today, <laughs> today we, we are all enjoying it. So thank the one who said those words to put the mazgan here, the air conditioner here. The word of faith, or words of faith, are words of power, words of God's work. Words of faith come forth from God. And those words come into our hearts and we receive them. So this word, this word of faith or these words of faith are an action being performed. Let's open in Mark chapter 11 from verse 20 to 26. Mark 11, 20 to 26. So I'm going to read chapter 11, verse 20. Now in the morning, as they passed, they saw the fig tree dried up from, its, from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he, whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. The words of God, or God's word, are words of faith, are words that work and have power in them. And when God speaks, action follows, things happen. 
In this passage, it speaks about when Yeshua cursed this fig tree, and this is how it happened. When Yeshua was hungry, he wanted to eat, and he came to the tree, and he was looking for fruit, and he didn't find any. And when he looked, he didn't find anything and said, from today, no one else will eat from this tree. And the next morning, Yeshua's disciples saw that that tree is dry. The disciples remembered what God said or what Yeshua said. They saw the result of words that came out of God's mouth. Those words had power. And what Yeshua said happened exactly the way he said it will happen. And what happened is that a human could not have done that on his own. Yeshua realized that his disciples or Yeshua Yeshua made his disciples okay, sorry his disciples, Yeshua's disciples focused on uh, what had happened but Yeshua put the focus on uh, how it had happened on God's words because in God's word everything was created everything we see in nature God created through his words when he spoke he says that you should have God's faith. In other words, you can say, have faith in God or trust God. Because those words coming out of God's mouth come into our hearts. God says, God gave us our salvation through Yeshua. God says that our sins have been forgiven. All our sicknesses, all our curses were on Yeshua and He died for us. This is a word of faith. The word of faith comes through Yeshua. The word of faith made action happen through Yeshua. And when you hear a word of faith today, it comes into your hearts. You receive it and it creates faith in your heart. And when you have a word of faith in your heart, the next step is to, it needs to make action happen in your life. But action happens by declaring God's word. The faith is in your heart. But in order to give it power, we need to say the words, to declare it. 
And whenever we declare the word of faith, it causes a certain action to happen, certain deed. Do you believe that Yeshua forgave your sins? Then you say and declare that, Yeshua, I believe that you forgave my sins. I believe that you completed my faith. Sorry, completed my salvation. And that works and it does things in our life. If Yeshua took our weaknesses and healed our sicknesses, he did it already over there on the cross. And we receive what he had done in our hearts. And when we are sick and need a miracle in our life, and we believe in our hearts and declare it in words, saying, Yeshua is my healer, my doctor. Yeshua took all my sicknesses, all my bad things upon himself. And when we declare these words, we release God's power in our life and we receive healing, forgiveness and delivering, deliverance. And all the negative things that happen in our heart, <coughs> bad thoughts and depression, all the wars that happen in our hearts, those wars leave us or get out of our hearts because we receive deliverance through, through God. Our mouth is like a door through which we declare or a door that we open when we speak, when we declare the word of faith. We remember the example, the passage when Yeshua uh, healed the, the servant of the centurion. Luke speaks about it. Luke speaks about it in Luke 7, 7. Pay attention to this. The centurion heard about Yeshua. <coughs> he was not a Jew. He was Roman. But he loved the Jews. He built a synagogue and he was an honored man. And even the, the Jews even spoke for him and asked Yeshua to help him. He had a need for his servant. He was a dear servant for him. But his servant w became sick in a very uh, serious sickness. The centurion, as an army man, he knew and he also had faith in what Yeshua says. He 
And he tells Yeshua, just say one word and my servant will receive healing. You don't even need to come to the house, to my house or touch him. Just declare healing and it will happen. When Yeshua heard this, he was surprised. He says, even in Israel I didn't find such faith. It means that Yeshua looked for faith in people. Through faith, Yeshua could make miracles and work in a person's life. And the faith and the faith that that centurion had was uh, pretty uncommon so much that it surprised Yeshua. Do you want to surprise Yeshua with your faith? He's looking today for such faith. And if we have such faith, we receive what we ask for. Pay attention. The word of faith that we release with when we say it, we go back. We're going back to Mark. Mark 11, verse 23. In the end of verse 23, the end of verse 22, have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that these things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. The words that we declare have God's power. These words work in our life or make action happen in our life. And pay attention that Yeshua says that we need to stand in faith and not to doubt in our hearts while we say what we're saying. He says that in the heart you have faith, then you declare it, and you are confident that what you say God will do. We have many examples in the Word of God in the Bible that people declared thing, things from their heart with faith. And when they did it, God's power touched them. Did it happen in your life? So if there's someone who did not uh, experience this yet in your life, it can happen. We can see a living faith. It has power and it does things. It receives healing of 
healing, forgiveness of sins, and blessing. This faith gives us power to have victory over this world and stand strong against it. It gives us strength to have victory over our ego. So don't have doubts in your hearts and in your thought, thoughts. Everything that is connected, or everything that has something to do with your salvation or your healing or forgiveness of sin of your sins, Yeshua brings this example here and says, if you tell this mountain to jump into the sea, I think that this. It's not really like that the mountain will jump into the sea. It, I think it's more of a metaphor. It means generally that in this, in a life of a person, there is something so big. We have things in our life that we cannot do in our own strength. But Yeshua says, that when God comes into the picture, these things do happen. Forgiving our own sins is impossible. No person can forgive their own sins. Can you forgive yourselves? You can forgive someone else, of course, but you cannot, but to our, we ourselves also need to receive forgiveness. Can you heal yourself when you have a serious sickness? There are sicknesses that cannot be healed where we need God to come and intervene. This is what I think when Yeshua, about what Yeshua says here. He says, have faith in God. Put your focus on God. Trust God and look at this situation the way God looks at it. Verse 24, let's look at it. Yeshua speaks here about a prayer of faith. Today many people pray. In every religion has a passage of prayer, but when the prayer is to God, Yeshua says that here we need to have faith. Many people Many people pray a lot, but without faith. And such a prayer does not work, so to say, or does not receive an answer. It's just words. There is no... Um, nothing good comes out of it. But Yeshua says, you need to pray in a prayer of faith because praying in faith makes action happen. He says, therefore I say to you, 
whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. He says here, whatever things you ask, and he means every need we have as believers. It means that everything that we need as believers the way God cares for us is only through faith. If that centurion did not have faith, his servant would have died. But he had faith that made actions in his heart. And because of that, we need to base our faith on the word of God. That's what he promised us. On God's love, on God's healing, on God's goodness. Our faith is based on this word of faith. And this word of faith is what Yeshua, what God did through Yeshua for us. That's what comes from God to us. That's what God says <coughs> that's related to us. If he says, I love you, I forgive you, receive it. If he says, I heal you, I take all curses from you, receive it, ask it and receive it. Receive it from God. That's what Yeshua does in your life. Let's look at something, at one more important thing in this passage, verses 25 and 26. <coughs> Yeshua puts a very important focus on the state of our heart. <coughs> God sees our heart and he sees the state of our heart while we pray. Let's read verses 25 and 26. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Pay attention here that it's our responsibility to see what the state of our heart is. If we keep grudges against someone who did bad things to us, we keep it in our heart and we come to Yeshua in prayer with that in our heart. God will not God will not do what we were supposed to do. He won't take away the grudges that we keep. Not everything is in God's responsibility. We have our own responsibility and the steps that we need to take. And here Yeshua says, check your hearts, examine your hearts. And 
take out these things that you have against other people. You need to do it. If we don't do it, God will not do it instead of us. He says directly to us, it depends on you. It depends on how you forgive. Forgiving, we need to forgive. We need to forgive people. And when we make this decision and we forgive, then God hears us. And then God's power purifies our heart with this is God's will and if we choose to do it he does it God wants to see our pure intentions that we really want it when God sees or looks at our hearts and he sees that we live in sin we don't forgive the Holy Spirit cannot be in such a heart. God is waiting for our step, for our willingness to forgive and to let go of those grudges and to forgive those who hurt us. And then God forgives our sins. Do you want God to forgive you your sins? Because if there is no forgiveness, there is no salvation. That's why we need to forgive those who hurt us so that we will receive God's forgiveness. It's very important for our relationship with God in prayer because our heart is a place of prayer with God. It's a place where we speak with God. It's our responsibility to make sure this place is pure. And through this, the word of faith is for us today. We receive it into our heart. And we declare it. Or sorry, we let it go while we declare it through our mouth. Our heart needs to be pure to receive God's word. It might be that there might be some people here who did not purify their hearts yet. They did not uh, forgive someone or did not let their hearts let go. Today you need to say and believe that I forgive those who hurt me and say today Yeshua and the Holy Spirit come into my heart through purify my heart through Yeshua's blood purify my heart through the Holy Spirit and th so that I will have a true and strong faith so, so strong that Yeshua himself will be surprised from it and that when we turn to Yeshua, we will immediately receive it. And that this faith will be living and acting. Thank you, Yeshua. This faith comes from God. You will not find this faith in people or in cultures or in religions. This faith is from God and it comes only from God. We receive it through the Word of God and we receive it through the Holy Spirit and we receive it into our heart, into our spirit. 
Let's get up together and let's pray together from all our hearts. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word that you that we received from you through Yeshua. You took all our sins, all our sicknesses. You took it on the cross and you died for us and you rose again. We receive this through faith and we want to keep it in our pure heart. Bless every heart that is here that has a need of purifying from all these things. Fill our hearts with your word that we will trust you with all our problems that we have, with all the complex situations that we might have in our life. Help us trust in you. And all our uh, worries or requests, let us bring them before you. You do want to answer every request and to give every person deliverance and forgiveness in the name of Yeshua.